Have you read your Bible yet today? God wants to talk to you. He has things to say to you. And the primary way he talks to everybody is through the Bible. People ask me all the time, how do you hear from God? And here's the thing. If you're not reading the Bible, you're not listening to God. You're ignoring what he's already told you. If you really want to be close to God and you're not spending time in prayer and spending time in the Bible, it's kind of like you're saying you want to have a relationship with somebody, but you go out of your way not to spend time with them. God loves you so much. I mean, the reason Jesus died on the cross wasn't just to pay for your sins. He died on the cross to pay for your sins in order to restore you to the relationship with God that Adam and Eve lost in the Garden of Eden. In John 17, 3, Jesus even defined eternal life as an intimate relationship with him and the Father. Eternal life isn't just about where you're going to go one day. It's about who you get to be with for eternity, and it starts right now. Do you really think you're going to want to go spend eternity in heaven with God when you're not willing to spend time with him here on earth? Studies consistently show that over 70% of Christians in America don't read their Bible on a regular basis or spend time in prayer. If you don't have time to read the Bible and pray, every other priority in your life is completely wrong. Now, God doesn't get angry at anybody because they don't spend time reading the Bible and in prayer, but he is brokenhearted because you're missing out on a huge part of what Jesus died to give you.